السلام علیکم بیوٹیفل پیپل مینی اسٹوڈنٹس دے کمنٹس اینڈ کمنٹس باکس دے آر آسکنگ اباؤٹ فلٹنگ کالم واٹ از فلٹنگ کالم ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز ان بلڈنگ کنسٹرکشن آف کورس دس از دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ کوشچن اینڈ آلسو دس از آف این آسک کوشچن ان سیور انجینئرنگ انٹرویو سو ٹوڈے آئی ول گائڈ یو واٹ از فلٹنگ کالم ویئر یو کین کنسٹرکٹ فلٹنگ کالم ان بلڈنگ اینڈ why what is the advantages and disadvantages of flooding column in this video so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like this video guys as you know the topic is what is flooding column its advantages and disadvantages guys flooding column first of all i will guide you what is flooding column guys flooding column is a type of column which is constructed over the beam or slab of any intermediate floors of a structure these columns are not attached to any footing so therefore flooding columns also known as hanging columns right this, this is also called hanging columns so hanging columns are flooding columns are same thing okay now guys you can see this is the diagram for the flooding column as you can see guys The, these two are footings in the foundation this is footing this is also the second footing guys you can see this is column and this is the other column guys this is slab rcc slab okay so here guys these columns this one okay this column these two columns are these two columns are called flooding columns why what's the reason as i told you here in the definition of flooding column that flooding column is a type of column as you can see this is the type of column and it's constructed over the beam or slab guys you cannot see any other support here because the main two columns are here as you can see this is the column and uh, and the foundation you can see these are its footings for these two columns but here we don't have any support or any column to construct the column on that but the column is constructed above the or over the slab okay so this type of column is called flooding columns or hanging columns now guys i will also discuss its low transfer mechanism because guys its load become same like this to this column and also from here the load comes the load transfer mechanism is same like this okay that's why because we don't have support so why what's the reason that we don't provide any support for this flooding column okay as you can see this is not uh, called flooding column these columns okay so these are simple columns okay these are column okay because here we have the foundation as i told you these columns are not attached to any footing so this is not attached to any footing just its uh, load transfer mechanism is same like this so it's transfer the load to the this column okay now guys come to the main point how low transfer and flooding columns the low transfer mechanism and flooding column is totally different from the ordinary column so what is ordinary column like this one so these are ordinary columns okay now the flooding column do not transfer the load directly to the foundation as you can see so it cannot transfer the load directly to the foundation that's why because we don't have anything here to support the flooding column load so therefore it's free guys the column is free it's constructed over the slab or over the beam so therefore the flooding column don't transfer the load directly to the foundation instead instead they transfer the load to the beam or slab as you can see guys this is the slab so the flooding column transfer the load to the slab okay then slab transfer the load to this one column then this column transfer the load to the foundation when you come to the normal column its load transfer mechanism is how 
so when the load comes on the slab so slab transfer the load to the columns and column transfer the load to the foundation or to the footing and footing transfer the load to the soil natural soil okay so that is the load transfer mechanism for the normal columns but the overhanging uh, sorry the hanging columns or the floating column transfer the load to the beam or directly to the slab then slab transfer to the columns and columns transfer to the foundation as you can see guys the load transfer to the foundation okay the floating column don't transfer the load to the uh, directly to the foundation but instead they transfer the load to the beam or slab on which they are constructed on which they are constructed so the floating column is constructed over the slab and load x as a point load guys guys you can see this is point load same like this one okay also the floating column can be construct here this is the other column this is also called flooding column that's why guys what's the reason because we don't have any support okay under this column we don't have the other column because this area is free this space is free also here this is free okay now guys come to the point now what is the advantages why we construct the flooding column why we construct the hanging column what's the reason behind this the first main point advantages flooding column are mainly to the fulfill the architectural requirement of the structure as you know guys here on the ground floor we required more free space we don't need any obstacle there because for the car parking for the hall we need the opening space okay open space so therefore we don't provide any column on the ground level so therefore above the ground level on the first floor for the next project or for the first floor we provide for the next project we provide the flooding columns okay so this is just architectural requirements for a structure therefore we provide for example if i need here if i need guys uh, if i have for example a column here and i want to uh, design or i i need to uh, make a planning for the car parking here so there it makes a problem for me so therefore i don't need a column so therefore to make a free space we don't require the column so for the architectural requirement of structure we design the flooding columns now what is the disadvantages yes of course it is more disadvantages the main advantage the disadvantages of flooding column is it suffers an earthquake that's why because an earthquake it can be suffered that's why because we don't have any other structure to transfer the load of this flooding column it suffers and also guys uh, there are more torsions bending moment shear stresses so therefore if you want to design flooding column so you need a structural designer because this column should be designed as this slab can uh, support this flooding column structure or not so if it cannot support if the slab cannot support or if the beam cannot support the structure load of the flooding column so of course it suffers from earthquake and also due to maximum bending moment torsion shear stresses so this structure will be fail so therefore we need an ex an expert designer structural designer to do your project perfect so guys this is the important point uh, about uh, uh, flooding column what is flooding column advantages and dis disadvantages and also law transfer mechanism for flooding column so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply you also thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye